Hi, this is Dr. Don. I had a question about some of the homework problems in Module 4, and the first one that I was asked about, it is really uh, a very short problem, but they say find z of alpha over 2 for alpha of 0 0.07. Now, you can go into the tables, but you know, I keep suggesting that you try StatCrunch. So I'm going to go to Question Help here, open up StatCrunch. Now I've got StatCrunch open, and we're given Z. Z tells us that this is a normal distribution problem. Remember, we've got Z and T and F, so uh, Z is a normal. So I'm going to go to Stat, Calculators, Normal. And I've got my normal calculator open here. And it asks us for z of alpha over 2. And because it's asking for z and not minus z, all we need to do is take alpha, which is 0 0.07, divide that by 2, which gives us 0 0.035. And our normal calculator, of course, comes up with the standard normal mean and standard normal standard deviation, which is what we need in order to emulate the tables. I put in my alpha over 2, and I get minus 1.81 because I'm pointing to the right side. If I go back here to the, I'm sorry, to the left side, to the right side, I will get my positive value there. What I like to do when I'm given alpha over 2 problems is use the between calculator. And if alpha is 0.07, that means the confidence level C is 1 minus alpha, which would be 0.93, which is the area between the plus and minus Z. And I get the correct answer again, 1.81 and minus 1.81 for my values of z for uh, alpha over 2. This is the second problem I was asked about, and it is also has to do with the normal curve. And we know that when we're reading this, they're asking what is the confidence level of each of the following confidence intervals for the mean. And we're given the icon to go to the normal curve tables, which we don't want to do. But that tells us we're using the normal distribution. The other thing that would tell you is if you're going to use the t distribution, you need to know the number of items in your sample. We don't know that. So that reinforces that this is just a simple normal curve distribution problems. All right, so I'm going to call up my stat crunch again. And we're going to use the stat calculator normal calculator again. Because we're dealing with confidence intervals, and if you read this, it's x bar plus or minus a value and we should remember that in the formula for the confidence intervals, this is Z critical. So if we know Z critical, then we can calculate the confidence in level, which is 1 minus alpha. And we can find that by using the normal calculator. I like to use the between again because I'm dealing with plus and minus. And if I put in minus 1.96, and plus 1.96, which is my two values for Z critical, and click on Compute, I get 95% in the area between, which is my confidence level C, which again is 1 minus alpha. Alpha is split in two for confidence intervals since we've got plus and minus. So that's 95% for the first one. The second one is 1.64. 4, 5 minus 1.645 plus, click on compute. That's a 90% confidence interval. The third one is 2.75 minus 1.645 plus, 
minus 2.75, whoops, 575, plus 2.575. Click Compute. That's a 99% confidence interval around the two decimal places. The third is minus 1.282 to plus 1.282, click on Compute. That gives me an 80% confidence interval since my C is equal to 0.8. D, I'm sorry, E is 0.99. So I put minus 0.99, plus 0.99, click Compute, and that's a 67 0.78% confidence interval, and that's the answer to the last part. So I hope this helps.